Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to Stoneblock 2. In the last episode, we were working with Applied Energistics a bit, uh, getting a little bit more automation prepped, as well as we were working with the machine room a little bit, uh, kind of planning out things. It, it always feels like we don't get much done in these episodes sometimes, um, but I did do some work off camera, and one of the big things I did was made... 29 more um, ME controllers so that we can do something kind of cool and I can stop hitting the button that's the uh, the map zoom. I have no idea what I keep it at regularly, but um, we're going to go there. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I made a bunch more of these ME controllers. Uh, it just took some time. We're going to make a 3x3 three and we're gonna put this actually into the roof here and it's gonna be cool so let's see if we can at least make this stuff look good um, we're gonna do something like this and red is bad obviously we are going to go ahead and break this guy um, but yeah, red is bad because it's not a complete structure. So in order for the ME controllers to work properly, they have to be a um, a shape. They can't just exist. But um, this is what we're going to have for... Did I make two extras? Oh, right, because I was going to do that. And I am going to actually do that. Um, so we'll put... Does that not work? Um, apparently that doesn't work. Okay. Well then, we will have a nice square shape like this, uh, and we'll decorate things later, obviously, but, um, this should make it a lot better. I can get rid of some of these cablings. Um, now one big thing we need to do is pop up here. And um, we're gonna have to do something about this. So we'll just do that. And that has power connected to it. Um, everything should still be connected. Um, these guys should still be connected. They are. Um, these guys are obviously connected. And uh, it's gonna actually change the amount of channels everything uses. Um, this one is not connected. So we're just gonna connect it like so. All right, cool. So we should still have, we should still be able to see our iron, for example, and what else is over there? Cobblestone? Yeah, we can see all of that stuff and everything is fine. So perfect. Um, we're going to drop off some things, I guess just the Emmy conduits, uh, and that is... That is what we're going to go with. Now, I'm obviously going to make it look nicer later, but uh, and we could also make it bigger. I don't know that we're going to need anything bigger anytime soon um, because each of these controllers, each side of them, uh, can give us, what is it, like 32 channels to be used. Uh, it's, it's a lot, and I don't know that we're going to need that much more. So we'll kind of... We'll kind of live with it for now, and we'll start getting things organized down below. Uh, but we're going to completely do something different today um before we get to that though there was an issue last time that we were having with power and i couldn't figure it out and then i went and looked at my power system and i figured it out so the problem is this guy can only send out 320 rf per tick because this guy can only output that uh, if we change it to rf it's only going to output 320 RF per tick um, because it's a basic energy cube we upgrade this guy then things will change so that's exactly what we're going to do uh, and to do that we're going to make some tier installers so um, basic tier installer we're going to need a bunch of controls uh, so let's get some osmium if I can spell it right I uh, to so if we want the advanced tier, uh, it is just one each, yes. So two, four, six, eight. 
eight of these guys. And um, we'll just go ahead and make everything. So uh, I am going to need some redstone. I said redstone. Uh, and if I am clever, should only need one. Now I do need to go ahead and connect that like so. And yeah, this is why we were having problems with power last time. Uh, do I have any thingies? Uh, enriched alloys currently. Uh, we're going to need quite a few of those. So the basic tier, it requires more of the previous tier's alloys. And these can be a lot. So uh, we're going to need four and eight um, plus another 16. So 24. Uh, so redstone, we're gonna need one, two, three, I do believe. And iron, we're gonna need 24. And I think that will be enough. And then we're going to need for the tier two, uh, we need diamonds. And I think we're gonna need two diamonds. And then we're going to need some obsidian, compressed obsidian, or refined obsidian rather. And that's going to require more diamonds. Uh, it is 10 each. So let's grab some. Uh, let's grab one. And obsidian. I guess I don't have any crushed already. Uh, I think four will be enough. I want, actually, I want eight. So I think we only need two and we'll try to make all this so those are that uh we'll put those in there uh pulverizer and hopefully this has enough power uh if it doesn't i can hook it up with power pretty quickly but yeah so we only need two of those and we can start making these guys into other things and we should be able to get everything we want for the tier installers. Now, I don't know that this is a quest, which by the way, I always do this. We, we made the tier three crafting seeds last time and I forgot to complete the quest. We got a party pickaxe. It's not much of anything that I care about, but it's kind of annoying I always forget. Now, I don't know if the basic tier installer works on this, but no. Because that is already a basic, but what we can do is we can actually use it our, on our enrich, our metallurgic infuser and turn it into a factory. And split this up, and this is going to be a lot faster. Because of obvious reasons, we're, we're doing more stuff at once. And so yeah, this is going to use more power, but it's three times as fast. Um, now the next tier... Uh, the advanced tier is what's going to be more important, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. But first, we need to make a couple things. Um, we need to turn all of these into advanced, don't we? I'm totally going to need more advanced circuits. So if we do this, that's fine, but... Did I do math correctly? Probably not. Maybe. Uh, and then the obsidian will turn into refined obsidian and then make that even better uh, in a moment. So I guess we can do that. And we can make an advanced tier installer. Uh, and then... Uh, do I have any more enriched? No. Okay, so maybe I did count correctly. But we are going to need... Yeah, 16. So we put those in there. And we can put all of these in there. And they will make uh, what we need now. Which is the reinforced alloys and the refined obsidian dust. Which we only need one of those. Um actually might 
want to just use one of these um, because I think it gives you 10, whereas this one gives you eight. And I think we only need, how many are we gonna need actually? One, two, three, oh no, we are gonna need eight. So might as well turn all of these. But uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Um, lots of work, I know, just to make some improvements, but the elite tier control circuits, which I believe we need all of these. And then um, we're gonna be making the elite tier. And then here in a moment, we'll make the, the top tier. And we'll just use that for our power. So if we go over here now to this guy and shift right click him, it is now an advanced energy cube and it outputs um, 128,000 RF. So a lot better. Uh, it's gonna work a lot better in general. So yeah, um, that's what we need to do. And I realize we need just a little bit more, don't we? Because we get, we're gonna need four for this and we're gonna need four more for those. So let's go ahead and put those in there, one of those. And we're gonna need redstone times one, uh, diamond times one, and iron times eight. Uh, because I like to use everything for right now, uh, later on we'll have a different metallurgic infuser for each different thing that we're going to be infusing. Uh, but until that point, we, we got to do it this way. So iron goes in there. Once the redstone is done, we put the diamond in. And then uh, we'll turn those all into the elite tier, the reinforced alloys. And we should have everything we need. I do believe that is gonna be everything. So uh, we can go ahead and put those back in. Once this is done, we'll get the things we need. So I I mentioned at the begin well earlier at near the beginning of this episode, um, we're gonna be shifting gears completely today just to give us something different to do. And what that difference is is Thaumcraft. We're gonna get into a little bit of magic stuff. Now we're not gonna do too much. Um, obviously, I haven't built anything yet for that, but um, I wanted to go ahead and just jump into uh, what Thaumcraft is going to be all about. Just because, you know, I have a time in a bottle. We can speed these up a little bit. Uh, Thaumcraft is going to be something that we're going to work on a lot more later, but I figured let's go ahead and get into the basics of it and see what we can do. Um, starting out. So let's make the elite tier and then let's make the ultimate tier and we can put those back away and clear out all this stuff. Cool. So we'll go ahead and turn our advanced energy cube now into an elite energy cube. Uh, so again, this stores 3.2 million transfers 1.28 kilo now up oh, I accidentally did both now it's 51 million RF and transfers 20,000 RF per tick so we should be good on power for a while that will slowly charge while we're doing other things and it's gonna be great so Thaumcraft um, these are gonna be a lot of quests and we're just gonna kind of go through them as we can uh, and we'll get to other things later, but for the most part, we're just going to try to get some basic stuff set up today, get started with Thaumcraft, and then we'll, we'll worry about it later. So the first thing to do is to make some Salus Mundus. Um, to make Salus Mundus, it's pretty easy. We take three different types of V crystals, um, not necessarily called Vis. Um, I believe the actual pronunciation is V, uh, but we take the crystals of different types and combine them with redstone in a crafting um, bench or whatever with flint and a bowl. So do we have 
a bowl. We do. Cool. That makes my life a lot easier. Uh, now, we've been getting crystals from uh, sifting, so we have a good bit. Let's see. We need three different. Let's take fire, air, and order, just because those are like the ones we have the most of. And then we're going to need redstone, and we're going to need some flint. Now, I believe there are other ways to make Salus Mundus later, but um, this is really easy. It is take three cr crystals of different type. Like, um, take three. Oh, it might not like this crafting station. Uh, do I have a crafting table? I mean, we could try the stone one. Let's see. Does it like this better? Uh, it acts like an actual crafting table. No. Uh, is there something I need to do with these first? Okay, let's check the quest book. Um, oh, okay. Okay. These are not the right things. These are crystals. We need to get these crystals. Your fingers tingle strangely as you handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe some rest will inspire you. Okay, so that's a little annoying. But um, now if we... Oh, it is an axe that breaks the stone crafting table. Okay. Um, whatever. Now, what happens if we put these in here? We get Salus Mundus. All right, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay, it was the wrong type of crystals. Um, oh, and then we were supposed to take a nap, apparently. Um, let's grab a bed, which I'm going to do here. And I guess we'll take a nap. I don't know if it's... I don't know what time it is, but um, we should get a purple message. And you awaken from a strange dream. You quickly write it down before the memory fades. And so, yeah, it tells you what to do. The crystal has to be different types, but if I did it properly, the result was a strange glowing dust. Um, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase. And that's what we need to do next. So I'm going to make a new bookcase, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make a new bookcase and or bookshelf. We just need some books. One, two, three. Easy as can be. And we can put the strange dream back. Um, so we just put this down and we take the Salus Mundus and we right click it. And we get cool effects and the Thaumonomicon which is really important. Um, let's go ahead and complete these quests. So we get random reward, base capacitors, nice, and a power diamond anvil. I think we've gotten both of those before, so cool, but not that important. Um, but now we have a Thaumonomicon, and the Thaumonomicon has a bunch of things. So there are research that we'll have to do. Um, who knows, you know, we, we got a book, it's mostly blank, but it hints at powerful new forms of magic, Thaumaturgy. Which, if you don't know what Thaumaturgy is in general, um, it's actually trans... It's, it's transforming things, it's transformorification, or whatever, whatever words. Um, it's transforming one thing into another thing, is like the basis of Thaum... Tha yeah. Thaumaturgy. There we go. <laughs> words are difficult, especially words that look like that. Um, but yeah, we need to start doing things. We need to make an arcane workbench. Uh, and there are different types of knowledge and theory crafting. Um, so we're supposed to do a lot of things, you know, making a wood table uh, and making some scribing tools and glass files. Uh, and a lot of this is probably going to be off camera, but use some Salus Mundus on a crafting table to get an arcane workbench which crafts with the crystals and 
uh, the V in the area. Use scribing tools on a table to get the research table, which is required to make discoveries. So we need to make both the research table and the Arcane Worship work uh, bench. I wanted to say workshop for some reason. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have to actually do Thalmcraft. It's not just going to give us everything. Um, but that's okay. So we need a research table. And this is going to be really weird. Uh, hold on. How do we... How do we get the research table again? Uh, I need to make the scribing tools. And... Okay, let's look at this again. Okay, so we need a wood table and scribing tools. So wood table, scribing, and then um, we also need some more Salus Mundus for the Arcane Workbench, which we can do that one first. So let's get some wood. Now there is a very important thing. Um, let's grab the bowl and the flint. And let's grab some crystals. Uh, let's grab like quite a few. And we can just place a few down. And just break them. They break really easily. Uh, and then we can go ahead and do the crafting. And we'll need two redstone. And we'll get that um, crafting table with the Salus Mundus and we can do stuff with that later. We'll go ahead and break that uh, and then for the wooden table we are going to need some slabs and it looks like it's any sort of wood which is nice. I was worried it was going to say you have to use um, the dark oak. That would have been bad but luckily it didn't. So the only other thing we need now is scribing tools, which glass file. We can get that pretty easily. And we can grab the scribing tools. Cool. So now we take the wood table and we'll put it here for right now. And we just right click it. And there is the research table. So that is going to give us things here so we can complete the researches and then it tells us more things so now that we have a workspace we can start doing theories and it's a really complicated like mini game um and we'll work on that a little bit later celestial observations uh so we get things we need certain researches for doing different things um but now that we have the arcane workbench we can start working with some other things uh what does the quest book want us to do next also we can get the reward okay so the quest book is going to kind of leave us hang in from there um some things that are going to be important later is you know clockwork mines um these are goals uh you know making making uh spells using wands um, infusions, infusing items into other items. This is really important thing for Thomcraft, but is also really complex. Um, niter, which is a light source, as well as a heat source for um, crucible recipes, which is throwing things into water and melting them down. Um, the golems, like I said before. Lens of truth, which is, these are like artifacts and whatnot, or not lens of truth, Len uh, goggles of revealing. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of cool things we can do with Thumbcraft, but it all comes down to this. And in order to actually use that, we need paper. We are going to need a lot of paper. And so what we can do is we can throw this in here. And we can start creating a theory. Now we can take a random one. Uh, experimentation. So we perform some random experiments to see if we can discover something. We gain some progress in a random category and we'll go ahead and do that so we are getting 
fundamentals and alchemy. So there is a lot of different, if we take a look at theory crafting, um, there's a lot of different things. And basically we want to get a theory on one thing. Um, but occasionally things will be bad. So progress and research categories are shown as a percentage. 100% com completion represents one full theory. Getting less than 100% still counts. However, it will be kind of, okay. So it it's kind of confusing and I don't remember exactly how it works, but we can just kind of bumble through it. So the next thing we get two things um, we can ponder. Uh, so they use the light bulbs at the top are our like ideas and we run out of those. Um, some things will give us more, uh, others will not. Um, so universal theory, mobile revelation shows you the common links between all that you've been studying. Um, your total progress is split evenly among all currently revealed and valid categories and an additional category will gain the full bonus upon completion. Or we can ponder, get 25 progress for, uh, all of our current categories plus a bonus draw. And I think that's what we're going to do because we get to draw more paper and we are doing well. Um, so we can reject the alchemy findings. If we didn't want alchemy, um, we will gain no more progress towards alchemy or draw any cards related to that, but we'll, but our current progress will remain. Um, we can rethink. Now we can only use this one once. Um, we lose 10 progress divided evenly between all, but we gain inspiration, which is the light bulb and a bonus draw. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's fine. So let's get some more. We can ponder some more. And 49%, we can go ahead and complete the theory. And I don't think we got anything worthwhile. So that was unfortunate. But basically, I'm going to play that minigame a ton. And you're not going to see it. I'm just going to get things and work on it. I don't remember exactly how it all works. It's been a while. I'll probably show off some of it. But... That's the basic gist. It's just like a mini game. Now we can have uh, different, they're called study aids or research aids. Um, so for example, uh, we might have a bookshelf nearby. So if we actually remove this guy and put him over here, uh, let's put him down. We have a crafting table and, or not a crafting, an enchanting table and a bookshelf um, nearby. We'll also have to fill up the scrapping tools every once in a while, but we can use those to get more things, basically. Uh, so they'll, they'll give limited special draws that have a higher chance of occurring. Um, and basically, the bookshelf grants the balance research option and two chances at the notation research option. So yeah, basically it, it helps. And so if we did something now, um, we can create a theory. Um, that's Let's actually scrap that one. Let's use the bookshelf and create a theory and we can study fundamentals. Um, so we gain a bunch in fundamentals or we get 15 to 30 in a randomly and random category. So that's artifice. Um, we get our draw. We could study more fundamentals or we could use the notation. Um, so we lose all progress in fundamentals, but most of the lost progress is added to artifice. Sure. And we can get some more stuff. Um, we could study more fundamentals. And it didn't work because we didn't have any, we didn't have 100% complete. So we got to get to 100%. Um, study the normal enchantment. See how, okay. Um, you lose five experience. Sure. So we're going to lose, we lost five experience, but we got arcane and aromancy. Uh, and then we get some draws. Um, so we'll do that and, uh, study fundamentals and that's not enough, but kind of get the gist. We need to get a hundred percent. I'm going to have to work on that quite a bit and get lucky, uh, and just create theories, experimentation, um, experiment more and we could rethink get a little bit more inspiration, another redraw. We could do another rethink. 
let's do 27, 15. Let's do experimentation. And if you have celestial notes about the moon, you get more stuff. That's not something we can really do. But yeah, none of this is really working. I will figure that out more later. But anyways, um, unfortunately, I think that is about where we're going to stop for today. Um, we're going to need to do a lot of work with Thomcraft. And, you know, there's a lot of things. Um, so let's see. We need observation fundamentals. Uh, and then we can do we can make a thermometer. Which isn't actually that difficult. But um, this is going to allow us to scan things. And then we can start working on other we can we can start getting more complex and more complex as we go so uh i need to do a refresher course on thomcraft this is a different version that i'm more familiar with um this is a newer version of thomcraft but uh eventually we will get through it and all that i just wanted to get a start on it get the book get the early stuff so i can do work off camera and go from there plus it was something to do so i didn't have to do too much building secret um that i didn't really want to do much building today so yeah i need to do a lot of work obviously but um we'll get there so next time i think what we'll do depends on what i have done between episodes if i do a bit of building with the farm we'll work on farm stuff if i've done building with machines we'll work on machine stuff if I've done building with the magic, we'll work on magic stuff. Um, I will try regardless to kind of sort this area out, uh, move machines back and whatnot, uh, like we were trying to do last episode. But um, now that we have more controllers, we can wire things up a little bit better. And one nice thing, by the way, is I think um, Thalmic, is there not a mod in this? Let's see. Yes, there is a mod that works with, um, it's it's called Thalmic Terminal. Uh, there is a mod that works to integrate Thalmcraft uh, with Applied Energistics. So that is something that we'll probably look into much later once we kind of get to that point. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!